a person capable of biting through nails, surviving bullets, and retaining the title of the world's strongest man. Joseph Greenstein was born on the 2nd of January, 1893, coming out premature and then diagnosed with tuberculosis right after. He was sure to not make it out of his teens. Luckily, though, due to his will and most importantly, luck, he was able to beat tuberculosis and make his way to adulthood. At the age of 14, when he was diagnosed with tuberculosis, he became acquainted with a Russian circus strongman, Volanko, who also mentored him. Who claims to be the world's strongest strongman. He traveled with him for 18 months, learning his training regimen and then returned to Poland, marrying his wife, Leah. His career started off with him becoming a wrestler, but due to rising anti-Semitism in Europe, he left for the United States of America. He settled first in Texas, working as a dock and oil field worker, and also multitasked professional wrestling under the nickname of Kid Greenstein. You're probably wondering, how does this random guy from Poland, living the normalest of lives, become so popular amongst the crowd? Well, on one semi-faithful day, Joseph was shot dead on the middle of his forehead by his friend. The interesting thing is, the bullet, which was 22 calibers, one of the deadliest bullet types, didn't even pierce his skull and flattened on contact. No, you heard me right. The bullet straight up flattened on contact with his skull, let alone be stopped by it. Doctors, amongst other people, of course, were fascinated, but no one was more flabbergasted than Joseph himself. One time, a group of Nazis ganged up on him, thinking for it to be an easy victory. But he ended up beating all 20 of the Nazi sympathizers. This event sparked his interest in the fields of mental powers associated with strength, and thus he started to gradually develop an array of strongman feats. Two of his feats were him easily biting through steel nails and bending horseshoes with little to no force. Those same nails and that same horseshoe is on display at the Weightlifting Hall of Fame in York, Pennsylvania. Just exactly the same as I said. After his golden era, John strayed away from being a strongman and pursued other careers. He sold coconut oil, soap, and health elixirs. He gave his last performance at his great-grandchild's first birthday on May 11, 1977, dying of cancer just five months later on October 8th at the age of 84.